and Q are the middle points of two chords, which are not the diameters, AB and AC respectively of a, respectively of a circle, with center at the point O. The lines OP and OQ are produced to meet the circle respectively at the points R and S. T is any point on the major arc between the points R and S of the circle. T is any point on the major arc between the points R and S of the circle. If angle BAC equals to 32 degrees, angle RTS is equals to what? Now, I'm sure all of you realize the fact that you cannot solve such questions unless you draw the diagram properly. So it's very important that you draw the diagram quickly and then analyze what can be done to arrive at the answer. And that is the reason I think questions on geometry become a little time consuming because by the time we draw the diagram, it takes like 30, 40 seconds. And that too only when you actually really know what needs to be done there. Otherwise, we end up, we may end up consuming a lot of time just in drawing the diagram itself, right? So let's see, it says uh, P and Q are the middle points of two chords, AB and AC respectively of a circle with the center at point O. So let's consider a circle. Let's say this is a circle. The center is here which is point O. And AB and AC are the two chords of the circle. So basically A is a common point, right? So both the chords are from a common point. So let's say this is point A, right? AB and AC are two chords. Let's say this is chord AB and this is chord AC. Make sure that these are not diameters, right? He has said that these are not the diameters. So you cannot draw a chord AB like this, which is passing through the center of the circle, right? Oh, okay, sorry. I think I've... Let me just redraw this. I think I've erased the circle by mistake. Yeah, so this is a circle. Center is O. A, B is one chord and AC is the other one. Right. Now, what does it say? The lines OP and OQ are produced. Okay, sorry, P and Q are the middle points, right? We did not consider this. P and Q are the middle points of these two chords. So the, for the chord AB, the middle point is P. For the chord AC, the middle point is Q. So P and Q. So the lines OP, OP and OQ are produced to meet the circle respectively at the points R and S. So OP is produced. See this from this line OP is produced to meet the circle at the point R. And the line OQ is produced to meet the circle at the point S. You understand? This is point P. Remember, this is point P, Q. S is the point which lies on the circle. It is the extension of OQ. And R is also the point which lies on the circle. It is the extension of the line OP. Now, one important point to be noted here is that, you know, you, you must have learned in the basics of uh, geometry that we have discussed that from the center of a circle, when you uh, drop a line on the midpoint of a chord, it will meet, it will make a right angle. This will be a right angle. Similarly, this also will be a right angle. These two are going to be right angles. You understand? Center of the circle is O. From the center of the circle, on this chord. This is the chord AC, right? The chord is AC. The chord here is AC. On this chord AC, the midpoint is Q. So from the circle, when you draw a line joining the midpoint of the chord, it will always make a right angle. So this angle is going to be right angle. Similarly, from the center again, you're drawing a line passing the midpoint of the chord. So at the meeting point, it will make a right angle. This is going to be a right angle, right? So both these are 90 degrees. Now, uh, now next point uh, given here is that T is any point on the major arc between the points R and S. So there is a minor arc RS and there is a major arc RS. You understand my major and minor arc, right? So T is any point on the major arc between the points R and S of the circle. So points are R and S on the circle. This is the major arc. T is any point here. Let's say T is this point on major arc R and S, right? Angle BAC is 32 degrees. Angle BAC is 32. What is BAC? BAC. This angle is 32 degrees. This angle is 32 degrees. Now, the first step in my view is that, you know, this is a quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? APOS. APOS is a quadrilateral. Right? And we know that total angle should be 360. Obviously, angle P, sorry, not APOS, APOQ. APOQ or APO, yeah. APOQ, sorry. APOQ. APOQ is a quadrilateral. In this, uh, P and Q are right angles. P and Q are right angles. A is 32. Total angle should be 360, right? So if this is 90 and 90, 180 is gone. This also should be 180. So O plus angle A plus angle O should be 180. 
I mean, I'm writing the full steps so that you can follow it easily. But you know that only sum of A and O should be 180 because P and S are anyway, P and Q are anyway making 180 already. 360. So angle A is 32, P is 90, Q also is 90. So from this angle O comes out to be what? 180 minus 32. 180 minus 32 is 148 degrees. This is 148 degrees. Now just look at the chord RS. Look at the chord RS. R and S is like a chord, right? He's asking us to find out which angle? RTS. RTS. This angle has to be found. RTS. What is this angle is the question. Now from this chord RS, the angle made at the center is 148. So the angle made at any point on the circle will be half of this angle. This is a standard theorem in uh, geometry of circles, right? Angle made at the center is let's say theta then the angle made by the same chord on any point with any point on the circle will be half of theta right so we can say that angle ros is equal to 148 degrees implies angle rts t can be any point on the circle i mean it can be anywhere here in this major half so rts will be equal to angle ros by 2 